Hello, welcome back to another Deck Tech. Hi, welcome. Uh, what are we doing today? I'm going to be showing you... Oh, that was a pretty meaty slap. Um, the Boz, <laughs> the Glimmer Wasp. For, uh, okay, listen. Some context. Modern Horizons 2, it's being spoiled. We're seeing new cards. I see this, I instantly fall in love with it. I. It is... Hilarious. It's a one drop. It's a zero zero. It's an insect. It cares about modular. It's a wasp. So, I fall in love with this card. I think I want to build a commander deck around it. I go to the pre release of Modern Horizons 2 and I tell my friend, I really want this card. I'm hoping for it. So we go to open our, uh, our pre, our, like, pre-packs, and in each of those, there is a promotional card, and you can tell it's a promotional card by this little, see if I can get a, yeah, there it is, that little, like, foil stamp in the corner, that's how you can tell it's, uh, your promo card. I did not get this. The friend I told him about, who I told this about, did get this. I was about to be so livid, but this dear friend of mine said, I know you wanted it, so I'll give it to you. This is probably also like 25 cents, but he was gracious enough to give it to me, and he just said on one condition, I have to build a commander deck around it. And here we are today. And I built the Commander deck, and I accidentally fell in love with it. Like, it is actually really fun to play. So, what does the boss, the Glimmer Wasp do? Well, he is a one-drop, legendary artifact creature, insect, 0-0, zero, zero, with modular 1. Which means he will enter the battlefield with a plus 1, plus 1 counter. And when he dies, he can move that plus 1, plus 1 counter, or however many plus 1, plus 1 counters are on him, onto another artifact creature. He also says, if a modular triggered ability would put one or more plus one plus one counters on a creature I control, that many plus one plus one plus one counters are put on it instead. So, what that means is the death trigger, and only the death trigger of a modular ability will get this a bonus. The creatures with modular do not enter the battlefield with a, another plus one plus one counter. I wish it worked like that. But it doesn't. He also has pay a red, destroy target artifact you control, to help with the, the modular stuff, and pay a white, Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp gains flying until end of turn. So how does this deck work? Well, it's modular. It's a very modular heavy deck. And that leans itself towards being a very um, aggressive deck at start. Like, it wants to kill people fast. It wants to buff up Zabaz and knock him out with commander damage. But that doesn't always happen, so there is a big side of this deck to where it gets more combo-y. And, you know, how an artifact deck really kind of turns itself out to be. And I, it, it can go infinite. I, I swear, it can go infinite. I have done it. Um, and I also do want to preface that a lot of the cards in here are from the Ozgear pre-constructed commander deck. But let let's just let's just let's just jump right into the new. So of course, with any deck tech, let's get this part out of the way first. Landamundos. Uh, <laughs> I have nine planes in the deck and eight mountains. Again, cheap land base. I also have artifact in. Great Furnace, Rust Veil Bridge, and Darksteel Citadel because artifact lands and there is, it's an artifact deck, you know, I'm kind of, it, it, it comes in the manual. Um, Secluded Step and Forgotten Cave, both the cycle lands, I like the cycle lands. They're good in a pinch when you draw them late game and you don't really want them. Command Tower, Exotic Orchid, Orchard, I messed up in my verse video, I'm sorry. 
orchard. Orchid is a flower, I think. I'm not a florologist. Is that the word for people who study plants? Because I know flora is plant, like plant life. Why are we talking about plants? This is Magic the Gathering. Spire of Industry. A good card. It's almost always going to be able to activate that ability. Lorehold Campus. Some good utility if I really need it. Inspiring Vantage. Thriving Heath. Oros Garrison. Battlefield Forge. Temple of the False God. Karn's Bastion. I deal with plus one plus one counters. Having a thing that can proliferate is good. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I might be playing a little bit of Infect in the deck. So, you know. Evolving Wilds. Immersion Zone. For, you know, just for that special occasion when I want Flash. Myriad Landscape. And Sunhome Fortress of the Legion. Double Strike is a very powerful tool when dealing with an aggressive deck. Next up are the artifacts and enchantments. I only have one enchantment in here, so... Sol Ring, because it's a commander deck. Sword of the Animist, it's an aggressive deck. This can help me fetch lands while also being aggressive. Local Metal Torque, more ramp. Commander Sphere, more ramp. Ashnod's Altar, ramp, and also being able to sack stuff for free is really good in this deck. Uh, Brainstone, I pulled this from a pack, I think, while I was doing the pre-release, and I, I kind of like it. It, it does kind of fit into a combo where I can just kind of keep getting it back over and over again and just keep drawing three cards and putting two on back. Uh, Skull Clamp, I want my creatures to die. Why not draw two cards when they die? That sounds like a good idea. Icar Wellspring, always a good card in an artifact deck. Staff of Nin, you know... If the game's gonna go on long and grindy, I'd rather be drawing two cards a turn than one. Spine of Ish Saw, a good removal tool. Throne of Geth, again, proliferate, really good with plus one plus one counter stuff, and poison counters. There's my infect. I'm so sorry. And for the enchantment, Pia's Revolution. Uh, again, if the game goes long, I can kind of get grindy, and this is a tool to help me with that. Next up, the instant and sorceries. I don't have much. Uh, Faithless looting to help me draw into some stuff. Chaos warp for some good removal, or if I just want to see what's on the top of my deck. Return to dust, also good removal. Route, a pretty good board wipe. Chain reaction, pretty good board wipe. Angel fire ignition, good for kind of getting that... Uh, that, like, good throttle to get the deck going with plus one, plus one counters. Plus, it has flashback. Pretty neat. Wake of the Past. This was an early game card. This is a late game card. <laughs> Return all artifact cards from the, my graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until end of turn. That is a powerful effect. Next up, uh, the Creatures. Now, I'm going to go over the non-artifact creatures first, because I think they're kind of in their own, you know, separate category. Uh, Osgir, I said this was mo a lot of the cards were from the Osgir pre-constructed deck. Osgir fits well in an artifact deck, so I put them in here, you know. Starnheim Corsair, some good ramp, reduces the cost of my artifacts. Audacious Reshapers, it's good for killing uh, the like, modular stuff, and just getting something out of it. Quicksmith Genius, eh, I might want to replace this card. It doesn't really do that much. It's only if I'm, like, flooding and lands does it really help me. Uh, Lashiel, Clockwork Scholar, more card draw, the better. Doppler Engineer, MG, MG, Engineer Gaming! Artifact creatures have ha having haste is a really... Uh, important part of some combo pieces. Jorkadeen, the Prevailer, buffs all my artifact creatures. Pretty neat. Aurelia, the War Leader. Because if one combat step wasn't enough, let's double it. It's a really good card. And Tashar. This is the kingpin of combos right here. This is like where most of the combos in this deck like pivot off of. This is how I go infinite. Tashar, really good card. 
he's also a burb. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The artifact creatures. Don't worry, don't worry. I know you I know you're wanting. I put all the modular stuff up front. Arcbound worker, modular one, zero zero. It it this is also a very good linchpin in a combo piece because he is one mana. Uh Arcbound Muser, Lifelink, be just for the payoff of having to have a white. Arcbound Javelinier, Arcbound Ravager. Uh, this was the cheapest one I could find, plus I like gold borders, so, you know, um, meet me up and we can fight. Arcbound Prototype, Arcbound Slith, Arcbound Stinger, Arcbound Shikari, Shikari? Shikari. I don't know. Scrapyard Recombiner. I don't have too many constructs in the deck, but the ones I do can be pretty good, like, it can fetch the one that... Uh, reduces the mana cost of all my artifacts, or it can get the one that I'm about to show later. Uh, Arcbound Tracker, Artifact Creature, Dog. Arcbound Crusher, this thing can get huge really quickly because, unbeknownst to me, when I first put it in the deck, it's it counts every artifact that comes onto the field. Every artifact. A lot of artifacts get played in a game of Commander. Arcbound Reclaimer, it can help with getting stuff out of the graveyard. Arcbound Bruiser, Arcbound Slasher, and Arcbound Fiend. Those are the modular creatures of the deck. Now onto the non-modular creatures. Gold Mirror and Iron Mirror, both ramp cards, as well as Plague Mirror, along with Infect. Ornithopter of Paradise, also a good card from Modern Horizons 2. Uh, Foundry Inspector, there's the thing that makes my artifacts cost less, that's a construct. Esper Sentinel, I pulled this from a pack. It was a good day. Uh, good white card draw. Plus, I can always put plus one plus one counters on it with modular to make the cost of, like... I will tax my opponents to the grave. Mindless Automaton. When they're about to board wipe... Just sack all my modular creatures, put all the 1-1 counters on him, and then remove all the 1-1 counters from him to just draw a boatload of cards. I think it's pretty good. Uh, Rune Grinder, a wheel effect. Sometimes it's very much needed, and plus he's very re uh, easy to destroy because of Zabaz's um, first ability. Mirror Retriever helps get stuff out of the, artif uh, out of the graveyard. Same with Sanctum Gargoyle. Scrap Trawler, another linchpin in combo pieces. Just an overall good card to have in Artifact Kratza decks. Bronze Guardian helps protect my artifacts and can get pretty powerful. Steel Overseer. Plays the boss on turn 1. Steel Overseer on turn 2. We've got a recipe I like. Extruder. It's kind of like an Arcbound Ravager. But Diet. Alibu, Ancient Witness. I am hearing ghosts in my house. Alibu, Ancient Witness. Uh, other artifact creatures I control of haste. A again, a really good stat line. And the ability to scry and deal damage. Like, dealing damage is pretty good, but the ability to scry and kind of put what I want on top of my deck. Really helpful. Steel Hellkite, a good, like, removal card. Like, constant removal. Mirror Retreat, or a Mirror Battle Sphere. It puts bodies onto the tables, which I like, and it can just be a big powerhouse. And Triplicate Titan, because... Uh, why not? <laughs> so, yeah. That's my, uh... That's my Sabaz deck. Uh, it's, it's really fun to play, because it can be kind of flexible. It can be very aggressive, or it can be very grindy. Um, plus, I like the funny bug. One could say I bug my opponents.